Arc Invest Management has become one of the top global asset managers in the investing world. Its chief executive and chief investment officer, Kathy Wood, is one of the most talked about investors of the decade. Arc Invest has five actively managed exchange traded funds, which Kathy Wood and her team of 11 analysts and portfolio managers actively manage. These ETFs have done so well since the beginning of the pandemic, so much so that ARK Invest has grown their money and their management five times from $11.4 billion at the end of March 2020 to close to $58 billion in December 2020, according to Wall Street Journal. A major reason in this gigantic growth is the outstanding performance of their biggest position, Tesla. Kathy Wood has a strong belief in their investment in Tesla and told the Financial Times that Tesla retains significant competitive advantage in the development of electric vehicles, a market segment for which ARC estimates compound annual growth of 80% in the next five years. Kathy Wood's confidence in Tesla also has grown based on what ride-sharing potentially could do to the electric vehicle maker's portfolio as it considers getting into the ride-hailing network. As Kathy Woods told the Financial Times, there is more than 30% chance in our view that Tesla is the autonomous taxi network of the US. Since its launch, ARK Innovation ETF, with ticker symbol ARKK, which is the largest fund that ARK Invest manages, it has delivered an average return of 39% annually. By the way, did you know that as a Canadian investor, you could buy uh, shares of ARK Invest in Canadian dollars? This ETF is available as a Canadian ETF via Emerge Capital Management Canada, uh, which we've made a video here on Momentum Channel. Be sure to check out that video if you are a Canadian investor. All right, getting back to this video, uh, we're going to talk about the top 10 holdings that ARK Innovation ETF possesses. These are based on the company's weight percentage in this ETF. Number one, we have Tesla, the ticker symbol TSLA. Shares of Tesla have risen by almost 9% so far this year. Last year, the EV maker's stock spiked more than 730%. The company is counted among the top 10 most valuable companies in the world. Last week, Tesla made headlines when it disclosed in a Securities and Exchange Commission filing that it had purchased $1.5 billion of digital assets, Bitcoin. Tesla's latest trading price was at $787.38. On spot number two, we have Roku with ticker symbol ROKU. This connected television company and its stock is up about 37% year to date and close to 260% in the past 12 months. Despite hits to the advertising business due to the pandemic, the company's shares have soared. Roku has been a big stay at home winner, adding 14 million active accounts in 2020 alone. Its latest trading price was $452.99. On the third spot, we have Square. Analysts at Deutsche Bank have recently boosted their price target on Square to $330 per share from $255 while keeping a buy rating on the stock. The bank has said that the payments company Square may have been a recovery play in 2020, but it is poised to be a bigger recovery story in 2021. Square stock is already up over 20% this year after climbing more than 200% in 2020. Number four spot, we have Teladoc House, the ticker symbol TDOC. As a virtual healthcare service provider, Teladoc company remains one of the top picks by many analysts and investors. In the fifth spot, we have Zillow with ticker symbol Z. Zillow stock soared 650% last year. Shares of the Seattle-based online real estate marketplace are already up 50% this year too. The company posted stellar fourth quarter results last week with a 63% sequential revenue growth of its automated home flipping business. At the sixth spot, we have Baidu, the ticker symbol BIDU. The Chinese tech giant has shown year-to-date return of almost 47%. In the seventh spot, we have CRISPR Therapeutics, ticker symbol CRSP. The company reported a fourth quarter loss of $1.50 a share compared to a profit of 50 cents in the year ago period. Nonetheless, shares of CRISPR therapeutics have risen 1.5% so far this year. On the 8th spot, we have a streaming giant, Spotify, the ticker symbol SPOT. The company posted a wider than expected fourth quarter loss and some conservative guidance uh, for future, despite a 25% rise in the subscribers' numbers for them. Spotify shares are up about 14% year to date. On the ninth spot, we have Invite, the ticker symbol NVTA, a San Francisco based company operating as a genetic information company uh, that has recently reported a loss of $1.34 a share. 
The company's shares have increased about 14% since the beginning of the year. And lastly, on the 10th spot, we have Shopify, the Canadian e-commerce software provider, which reported better than expected fourth quarter earnings. It's worth mentioning that the, the pandemic has driven demand for Shopify services and um, the company's shares are up about 25% year to date. There you have it, folks, a closer look at ARK Investment Management, at their top ETFs, and in particular, taking a closer look at their ARK Invest Innovation ETF, ARKK. Hope you found this video beneficial and you gained something of value from it. Let me know in the comment section down below if you are invested in any of the exchange related funds offered by Kathy Wood and her ARK Invest uh, firm. By the way, if you haven't done that already, please be sure to give this video a thumbs up. It really means a lot to us and will help the channel to grow. And if you haven't already subscribed to Momentum channel, please be sure to do so. Uh, here on Momentum, we post weekly various videos about stock market investing, finances, and financial freedom. Thank you guys and I hope to see you next time.